All right, we are in party prep mode over here. Uh, Augie and I went to the store this morning to pick up some box cake mix because I'm not making things from scratch. I don't have time and I don't want to. So we got two uh, devil's food cake, two of that, and one just plain white that I'm going to be adding red and gold or red and yellow sprinkles to. So today, at least today, I'm making this in to cakes, like two eight inch round cakes um, that I will let cool and then I will crumble up and mix with buttercream to make cake pops. I have a plan for the cake pops, but I wanna get as much done in advance as possible so that I'm not doing it on Saturday morning before the party. Things I worked on last night, didn't film it because like it's just crafty boring stuff, but fun for me uh, because we're doing a like superhero book superheroes are from comic books sorry for the glare on my glasses i made like this and it's like multi-layered you can't really tell but like i put foam tape in between them so i made that one and i made this one and i made this one so i'm gonna um try to cut out uh of my, with my cricket um like either bam pow Chris Blatt, or like whatever they say in comic books, or maybe Casper is six. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna try to do that, uh, maybe tonight. And otherwise, I gotta make cupcakes. Not realizing, like, so I figured I'd do some vanilla and some chocolate. One box of cake mix does 24 cupcakes. I don't need 48 cupcakes. So I, I, mm, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if maybe I should do vanilla cupcakes with red and yellow sprinkles and then the chocolate cake pops. That might be a better option. And then just save the chocolate, the other chocolate cake mix for like a random time we want to make muffins or cupcakes or whatever. So I'll ask Casper what he thinks because it's his birthday party. So in this case, obviously with kids, it's not what they say goes, but it's his birthday party. So he gets a say in the matter. Um, anyways, it is just shy of 1 in the afternoon, and I have much to do. I have a dishwasher that needs to be unloaded and reloaded. When don't I? I have laundry that needs to be folded. When don't I? And um, I swear I clean my house. You currently can't tell. Yeah. You guys are messy. I also need to eat something. So, I think step one will be to quickly whip up the cake, get it in the oven, and then I'll make myself a little snack, a little snackaroo. And then we'll play, we'll hang out until the cake's done. I'll take the cake out, let it cool. Um, all right, got my cake pans. I need to spritz them. I'm not worried about them being tidy, so I'm not gonna like line them with parchment. I'm just gonna give them a good spritz and wipe. We'll whip up some cake uh, because this cake is just going to be crumbled up for um, cake pops anyways. So. Where's my big orange bowl? Hold on. Mo, vacate the kitchen. There we go. Look, I even got a spatula. Boom. I might just leave the dishes for Peter. Because that's our thing. He knows I hate doing dishes. So usually if I leave them, he just tackles it. However, I will say... I love um, that when dinner is done, we can just load everything into the dishwasher. That, there's not like a whole to do about unloading and reloading and a mess everywhere. So we'll see how I'm feeling later. Devil's food, kick mix. We need one and a quarter cups of water or milk. We're gonna do milk. Um, half a cup of veggie oil and three eggs. But I'm pretty sure if I use milk and add an extra egg, it just makes it more delicious. So that's what we're gonna do. Dang, that's a lot of oil. All right, this can go away. You guys know me by now. I like to make, oh, I should have got more of this at the at when I was at Costco. I went to Costco. I didn't film anything, but guys, I went to Costco all by my gosh darn self the other day. Oh, I was still rushing and it's a new Costco. So I mean, I don't know where everything is and blah, blah, blah. What do you need? Do you want to come help? Okay. Bean's going to come help. Hold on. Bean's got sticky hands. One second. Ooh, sticky, sticky hands. I know, it's a little frosty. I'm sure. 
Cool. Cool. Your face. Hello. Hello. Oh, look, 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 look. How's that? Better? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. And one and a quarter cups of milk. Please don't dump that. We need it. One. It's not dangerous at all. And a quarter. Don't dump it, Bean. Oh, baby. One. Or that was a quarter. And a cup. A quarter and a cup. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, eggies. Four eggies. I don't want to get any shells in here, so let's get a separate bowl. Uh -huh. Ouch. Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, look at me. One hand. And no shells that time. Two. Come on. Yay. Three. Oh, a little bit of shell. Hold on. Still counts. Three. Ma, leave it alone. Where is it? There it is. Perfect. Look at me. I'm like a professional. Except now my hand's all gooey. Mona, get out of the sink. Mama. Yes. Mama. Mama. this really quick. Hold on. I'm gonna run out of sink space. <laughs> How long are these suckers cooking for again? Half an hour? Uh, uh, two minutes? Wait, uh, dark or non-stick pans? Is this dark? It doesn't really look dark, it just looks metal. Uh, let's, we're gonna say 33 minutes. Come here, this oven is hot. Like your mama. Alexa! Set a timer for 33 minutes, please. 33 minutes, starting now. And we'll be back with you when they're done. Okay, it's been, I don't know, 40 minutes. Cakes are done and cooling. I checked them, they're all cooked. Still pretty warm, but delicious. It smells really good. Uh, so I can probably turn those out onto like parchment paper. Um, so I might do that, or I might just leave them in their tins to cool off, like whatever. Uh, and then once they're cool enough, crumble them. And I am in no rush to do that because I'm not going to make icing tonight for two reasons. I haven't defrosted, I defrosted, I haven't brought my butter to room temperature and, and to make, so I always make, um, not like traditional buttercream, I make Swiss meringue buttercream. So you double boiler on the stove, egg whites and sugar until the sugar is dissolved and then you whip it up like a meringue and then you slowly add soft butter. So it doesn't, you don't want it to be like smush, but you also don't want it to be like 
ice cold because then it doesn't like blend in properly. You want it to be cool but soft. Um, and mm, I don't know if I want to do that tonight. I might do that tomorrow. I don't know because Felix is home for the next two days. So we'll see. I'm tired. It's only Tuesday. It's been a really long week and it's only Tuesday. Uh, also, it's snowing. Why is it snowing? So I am going to show you how I made the cake toppers for Casper's Giant Cupcake. Uh, I'm using the tacky glue that I borrow from Peter. I always say it's Peter's glue and he informs me it's for both of us um, and at this point I probably use it more often than he does but it's a super fast drying craft glue um, so I use my Cricut to cut out this Iron Man thing it's the same one I did for his last birthday because he's all Iron Man all the time but I decided to jazz it up this time you can see there there's two red ones a dark and a light so all I did was create an offset for the lighter red but I did an offset to the inside on Cricut Design Space. So you can offset to the outside or the inside. And so for the black background, I offset the yellow to the outside, so it would be slightly larger. And then for the lighter red inside, I same thing, just offset it to the inside, so it would be slightly smaller. And then I've layered all the pieces. So the yellow is glued directly onto the black. The blue for the, as Casper calls them, patchouers, and the chest uni beam are glued right onto the yellow. And then to kind of give it a little extra pizzazz, I doubled up some foam tape that I have for crafting and I stuck it so it's double sided and it's sticky. I mean, obviously it's double sided sticky foam tape. That's a mouthful. But yeah, so I doubled it up so it'd be extra thick. And then I just put like a few little pieces in different areas to kind of give it some support so it wasn't just stuck in the middle, um, but it would also give it kind of like some 3D effect. I don't know, I thought it looked pretty cool and Casper was super chuffed with it. Uh, then I stuck, um, I think I used hot glue and put like a stick on it and then put another piece on the back to cover the stick. And it was great, worked out perfectly. Well, Augie was not gonna go down for another nap, which is really frustrating. But it's 20 to two. I figure I will show you um, what we got for Casper for his birthday. It's not all of it. Uh, because Peter has something in his car, but I'll tell you what it is. It's fine. Um, I realize you're on an angle. Hold on. That's better. Hopefully. Maybe you're just on an angle the other way. Did I switch your fingers? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <sighs> this, this guy won't nap. He's tired, but he won't nap. So it's great. I'm going to show you what we got Casper for his birthday and then what we got for the goodie bags. So Casper loves reading, if you haven't noticed. And my sister once got him a, we call it a Shine-O-Light book. It's a Shine-A-Light book, but we call it a Shine-O-Light book. And so she got him one about a construction site. And then I think she got him another one that was dinosaurs. I don't remember who we got the dinosaur one from. I think it was from my sister, but it could be wrong. Anyways, maybe we got it for him. I, I don't know. I got him the human body one. So, I, I'm really excited. Huh? It looks really good. So I'm super pumped about that. So we got him that. He's gonna get stuff from his buddies and everyone he invited and from family on Saturday. But the one thing that we're giving him on Saturday, for sure, is this because he needs to wear it to his birthday party so it is a new it's a new Iron Man suit I'm really excited it's very stretchy yeah and you can see through the eyes like you can you can definitely see through the eyes did you just seriously what's your jam that's not nice. I know I vacuumed, but still, come on, man. My hair is probably a hot mess now. Like it wasn't already. Can I set you down? No. With your book? No, mom. Why would you? And it's well shaped. Like it's got like even like a little um, dart for like the under the chin, so it's not all baggy. So there's that. And then the whole bodysuit. I gotta set you down, Mimi. 
It's got like a zipper in the back, an invisible zipper. Um, it's got feet, like it's all included, like it's the it covers your feet and the hands are included. Like this is incredible. This is fantastic. I'm so excited for him. Hello. Hello. I was like, where's the pinky? It's just inside out. Can you imagine? But like, obviously it's, it's too small for me because like my fingers finished like down here, but he's gonna lose it. He's gonna lose his freaking mind. I'm so pumped. So the reason we did this is because um, on the invitations that I made with my cricket, I said like suit up for, it was like Avengers Assemble with a picture of Iron Man's mask or like a whatever. Oh wait, I have to show you one more thing, which I wouldn't have noticed, but our neighbor whose boys have these suits and I was like, where did you get them? Because all the ones I was finding just seem kind of crappy. <laughs> they have, they have a crotchal zipper, a zipper in the crotch, in the crotchal region um, for little boys to be able to go to the bathroom. Obviously, you got to be careful because you don't want to zip your junk. That's an emergency situation. So I got this off of Amazon. Links will be in the description box below. And I got two. So Casper's getting this one on his actual birthday party day so he can wear it to his birthday party because all of his friends took the invite to mean that they need to dress up in their super suits because the invite said, Avengers Assemble, suit up for Casper's sixth birthday. And they were like, we get to wear our super suits. And so then I said to Casper, oh wow, does your Iron Man suit still fit? And he was like, no. I'm like, oh shoot. I guess you'll just have to wear your Iron Man sweatshirt, the one I made him for his birthday last year. What? Uh, and he was like, yeah, I guess. And then I, I got a hold of these ones. They've been sitting in a bag at the front um, for like the better part of a week and a half. So that's exciting. So this I'm just going to put in this little gift bag um, that he can open before his birthday party so he has something to wear to it. And then I got him the same thing, but it's the um, the black Spider-Man suit, the Miles Morales, like from Into the Spider-Verse. So he's going to get to open this. Um, actually, let's take a look at the mask because it looks really cool. He's going to open this on his actual birthday. Look at those eyes. Dude. Yeah. Oh, wow. Man, does it come in my size? Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, my God. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah, same, same company, same brand. And they were only 30 bucks. So, I mean, like, I can't, I can't even make it for that inexpensive. And I don't mind spending the money on it. A, because it, it um, makes it easier for me. It's less stress uh, and less for me to have to make in a short period of time um, on top of all the other stuff I have to get done in a day. Um, but also the quality looks really good. And our neighbor, like I was saying, her kids have them. And she was like, they're fantastic. Like, they're stretchy. They're comfortable. The kids love them. So I have no problem spending the money on that. What are you doing? You're just doing some yoga? Yeah? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, you want me to have the, the block? Thank you. Should I set it up here? Like that? You want back up? Of course you do. Okay, so that's birthday presents for Casper. We got him the Shine a Light book and the two super suits. However, however, um, at Christmas time, he asked for... So initially at Christmas, his letter to Santa was like, could I please have a Batman robot? And then I guess they also practiced writing at school and they did letters to Santa at school, at which point he added a Beyblade. And so I said to Peter, like, I really hope Santa, I really hope Santa brings him a Beyblade. What do you want? You want your watcher? You say watcher. 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 Na na na. You say. Look at mom. Watcher. Don't do it. Give me gentle hands. Thank you. No, we don't pull. You just do gentle, gentle. Okay. Uh huh. Um. So, uh, Beyblades are expensive. So it's a good thing Santa came through and got Casper his first ever Beyblade. 
and he loves it. Peter was searching the uh, buy and sell at work, at his work, and he came across somebody selling Beyblades in like the the bowl, the dome that you like battle your Beyblades in, and it was like five bucks for the dome and and maybe ten bucks per Beyblade, which is a steal. So he was like, I want it. Um, and he was just telling me last night, it's been in his, in his trunk of his car for months because he bought it like a, closer to the beginning of the year. Um, and Casper has no idea, which is exciting. So we're going to give him that probably on his actual birthday day because he'll get lots of other stuff on his party day. Now that brings me to, I need to like be aware that I only have an hour and a bit before he comes home from school. So this cannot be left out. That brings me to goodie bags. Keeping on theme, I got a package of 24 superhero gift bags. They come with little stickers, which is exciting. I was gonna get plain ones and then Cricut them, but again, in the interest of sanity and time, no. So, hi, so it looks like we get two Wolverines, two Deadpool, I might not be giving those out to the kids. Two Captain Americas, two Iron Men, two Thor. Looks like it's two of everything. Black Panther, Spidey. And then now it looks like we're getting into DC, which is not our jam. Oh wait, there's Hulk too. Hulk. So that's our Marvel. Oh wait, no, that's that's Captain Marvel. We can use her. Oh, and Doctor Strange. <laughs> Panic! He's one of my favorites. Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Silver Fox. Then we got the Flash, the Superman. Henry Cavill Superman, yes please. Henry Cavill is the Witcher, bigger yes please. Here's where it gets exciting. We're almost entirely on theme, but a little bit not on theme. Flat bracelets. I got two packs of 10, so that means I can do 20 gift bags. They are superhero flat bracelets. Ooh, these feel nice. Dang, these feel nice. A Batman, Wolverine, what else we got? You see? Hulk. Hi. I think it's Spider-Man in purple. Oh, Spider-Man's in purple. Uh, Deadpool. Oh my god, Thor, Wonder Woman, and Cat. So I got two packs of those. And we got a multi-pack of superhero stickers. They look awesome. Like, look at that cute little Iron Man. And then lastly, I just got these, like, it's like a a box of like 40. They're just like little squishy, like squishy creatures. So I'll throw a couple in each bag. bags I can do like not now there's no point doing them now because then I have to find a place to store them all um, so I might actually do that morning of the party I don't know we'll see um, otherwise what am I gonna do right now hi I think I'll take the gift bags to the laundry room so they're out of the way I'll gather the boys laundry and bring it out here to fold uh, while I watch something I guess and watch my children i got a crumple of cake oh god oh god there's so much to do do you ever feel like there's like my my brain doesn't know um how to tackle stuff because there's so many tasks that need doing and i don't know what to do first i don't I'm, i don't know what to do first i don't know i don't know okay cool 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 cool, cool. The best part of all of this, and 100% sarcasm, is that all of the regular things you have to do in a day or in a week still have to happen on top of all of the party prep and planning and everything. So yes, folding laundry because apparently that's all I do. Um, here's a look at the cake pops. I didn't end up keeping them for the birthday party because Casper really wanted to bring them to school for his birthday celebration at school. 
So uh, he got to have these with his class on Friday. I dropped them off um, after dropping Felix off at daycare. And they were a huge success, even though my buttercream did not want to set up. Worked out okay. Good afternoon, friends. It is the day before the party. I have 23 muffins ready to be iced. I have my piping bags out. I have my gold dust out. I picked up some clear imitation vanilla um, because you can't get real vanilla that's clear. Um, you have to use the, the fake stuff. And I don't think we have any um, just like, I don't know, like vodka or something. Cause obviously the alcohol would evaporate and you can mix the gold dust with that because that's what vanilla is. What do you need? I'm covered, I have like food crumbles on me from the bean. Where'd your pouch go? It's on the floor. Hold on, hold on. Say hello. Yeah. Hello. Do you want more? You want it? I don't, what do you want? Do you want it? Do you want it? You want your water? Get it out of here, mom. Okay. Just second me. So I'm gonna get you. What? No, okay. I don't know what he wants. Story of my life. You want out? You want to break free? Say, I want to break free. Come on. I want my mommy. You want your water? You want your pouch? I don't know. He keeps pointing at something. Yeah. Anyway, so I have these cupcakes. They're currently naked. You can't have a cupcake served for, for the party, okay? You have to wait. Mr. Meow, you need to get out of here. The cats keep wanting to get into my icing because it has butter in it. This is my icing. You've seen me make Swiss meringue buttercream before. If you haven't, um, maybe I'll try to remember to include a link to that. But um, yeah, so I need to I need to get out my piping tip. I'm doing the classic swirl, so a Wilton one M tip. What do you want? You can't have a cupcake. Cupcake. Yeah, cupcake. But you can't have one. You can have the fake cupcake. <laughs> it's not real, mother. It's not real, mama. mommy. Anyways, I need to ice these. It is, what time is it? It's 20 to two, so I have an hour and a bit, um, hour and a half-ish, before I have to go to Casper's bus stop. I dropped off cake pops at school this afternoon um, after dropping Felix off at daycare. What? You cannot have the cupcake. 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 Can I set you down? I can't ice with one hand. Okay, well, mommy's just gonna set you down. There you go. Oh! Come here. Come here. Oh, look, you got a little crop top. What is this? You're showing everyone belly. What? Do you want your spatula? Do you want the spatula? You were playing with that earlier. Yeah? Uh huh. We'll eat it. Is it good? Mr. Meow, vacate the premises. Anyways, like I was saying, um, I need to ice these cupcakes and then get them in the fridge so that um, they stay, like the icing stays um, nice and solid and then we'll have to remember to take, ah. take them out tomorrow morning so that they have time to like come to room temperature before the party in the early afternoon. So let's ice some cupcakes. All right, so just pinch and twist the top so that when you squeeze it, it doesn't shoot out backwards. And then just, I'm gonna try and get the air out of it. All right, I don't have it 
too overfilled. All right, and I still have that much left. So let's see how many we can do with this, and then we'll refill. of your hands will soften this so if it gets too warm put it in the fridge but it's like so perfectly pipeable that's why I always go the extra step to make this icing in particular because it's so nice it's like not as thick as traditional like uh, I think they call it American buttercream it's not as cloy. My helper. It's not as cloying, like sickly sweet. Let's see if I can get one more out of this. All right, we need to refill. Well, that did half of them. That's not bad. So I'm gonna try and just use this bag again. I know they're technically disposable, but. My icing tip is in there, and I don't want to go. I don't want to go digging for it. Hold on, I need to wash my hand. Yeah. I'm gonna ice the rest of these suckers, and then I'll show you what they look like. Now I'm gonna mix some of that clear imitation vanilla with this gold uh, powder dust, both by Wilton to kind of put like a gold, like an Iron Man gold kind of shimmer on them. Honestly, I feel like everything I did for this birthday party, nothing was working the way I was anticipating it was gonna work. So these kind of, like it just more looked like yellow as opposed to anything. So I kind of regret not coloring the icing, maybe yellow and putting like red sprinkles on top or something. But at least I know for next time that this gold powder doesn't really have the same pizzazz as I was expecting. Still, they looked great, they tasted great. Now, let's not talk about how terrible these Oreos look. Because the whole cake pop situation was just like a giant flop in terms of the number that I had and also how firm they were and how difficult they were to cover, I ended up melting more of the blue melting chocolates and dipping Oreos. I had planned on putting the Oreos on sticks, but unless I got the double stuffed Oreos, which I didn't, the sticks were too thick to fit in the Oreos without popping the cookies off of the icing. So I dipped all of them, I let them cool, and then I went over it with a knife to just trim up the edges. Now I'm gonna use this uh, Wilton brand food marker. And this also didn't work and I was getting so frustrated. I think the kind of like waxy feel of the melting chocolate was just kind of like covering the tip of the marker and it didn't want the, like it didn't let the ink come out, which was super annoying. So what I ended up doing was taking one of the markers apart, taking the um, like felt tube of ink out from the inside and squeezing it into a cup and then using a clean paintbrush to paint the arc reactor onto all of the Oreos. Honestly, I should have done that from the get-go. Look at how much better they look. Obviously they're not perfect, but they're six-year-olds and five-year-olds. They loved it. Big shout out to my in-laws for helping kind of set everything up. Peter, Stan and Sophia with the balloons. For my mother-in-law for chasing after Felix and making sure he didn't escape because he has an exit radar and could figure out where every single exit was. Oh, also a huge shout out to Peter for doing these fruit trays to be Cap Shield and Iron Man's mask. Also for putting googly eyes on all of the goodie bags because they look freaking hilarious. Well done team. Oh wait, also also for building this cupcake stand to be Avengers Tower because I asked and he made it happen. So happy birthday, Casper. I can't believe you're six. Thanks for sticking around, friends. I know this was a long one. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. Share it with a friend. And I will see you sometime next week with probably spring cleaning part three and more realistically cleaning that just happens to happen in spring. Bye.